what to look for in an injector. Uh, one a point that you brought up was do injectors, and I guess online these days, mm. are they um, promoting themselves on their own merit or are they out there putting others down? And this yes. is something like I see a lot when I'm mm. scrolling on Instagram. Yeah. And I think it says a lot about an injector where they're, they're just focused on their, themselves and they're not really worried about what anyone else is doing. Yes. And I really don't like that whole, like, I call it kind of like injector bashing, yeah. even in front of a patient, you know, if a patient sits there and they're like, oh, you know, I had a bad experience somewhere, you know, I, I feel like a lot of injectors be like, oh my God, yeah, like that, that, that was terrible. Yes. But I try and just be like, look, you know, have you followed up with them and try and be kind of just quite diplomatic mm. about it and not be sort of mean to that injector and often say, look, people do things differently, especially That's if it right. hasn't been like a terrible adverse yeah. event, you know, and and just sort of then, you know, educating them and guiding them and things yeah. like that and kind of like let's put that to bed and let's yeah. move past let's that just work instead of sitting here. there and being like, oh, my God, yeah, that was such a bad injector yeah. and, you know. I certainly because want someone I, doing that to me. Exactly. I think about how would I want to be treated and especially, you know, some of our patients, they think an adverse event is getting some spocking or something yeah. like that. Bruce, guess and I, what? It's a needle. It's yeah, a and I, I would be mortified if someone was saying that I was a bad injector because yes. I gave someone a bruise or something exactly. like that. So you've got to think about yeah how you'd like to be spoken. Yeah, about. and I think it also speaks to the skill, like a, a hot tip for for patients if they're going out to social media, which is where they find a lot of their information these days. Yeah, if you're if you're looking at an injectors page and all they're doing is talking down other injectors. Or just commentating on other people's work and not showing their own work. That's yeah. a big red flag. It's a huge I want to see flag. what they can do. <laughs> yeah. So um, in terms of what they can do and their, their befores and afters, honest lighting, yeah. um, uh, you know, really. Not filtering it. Not filtering it. Um, that's so important. And also I want to see a, a range of. Like, don't show me someone with beautiful lips that you've just made bigger. Wow, yeah. you coloured between the lines. Like, over and over and over. Yeah. I, I want to see an, an older lip. Yeah, you know, realistic. Lots of upper lip lines. Yeah. Things like, and different angles mm, as well. Exactly. I think that's something that people should really look for, honesty in what they're putting out there and integrity in what they're putting out there. Definitely. It's super important. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. 